common problem with the new Scania R series and possibly other versions of it uh, is since Scania took over MAN um, what's happened is they use a lot of the MAN electricals which don't necessarily get on very well with the Scania system so um, a Scania engineer told me funny enough trying to sort out the problem I'm going to talk about um, and he said they're getting an awful lot of problems um, with electrical issues which can be traced back to having MAN uh, sensors and electrical components that are actually blowing or not working or breaking down whatever you want to call it so one of the, the very common issues is when you want to hook up your unit to a trailer um, with the lights on it blowing the fuse now the fuses that are involved is 105 and 106 10 amp fuses for the trailer it can be near side or off side um, now one way of getting around it is to couple up with your lights off couple up and then switch your lights on um, it's annoying but it happens a lot so your 10 amp fuses for the 105 106 it's found in a UK spec on the near side under the dash the passenger side um, I've done a video on how to open it all up so if you just want to check that out um, I'll put a link so they are linked together the videos but yeah um, if you've got any problems with your your lights on your trailer it does tend to be I'm not saying it is all the time but especially when you've just uh, hitched up it's those two fuses there it's either near side or off side where the lights on the trailer are out you've blown a, a 10 amp fuse I hope it helps um, it can be a bit of a head scratcher but it, it is a very very common problem um, I don't know whether they're going to try and sort it out or whether they're just going to let it sort itself out by um, when the MAN electrics filter through and then they become scannier parts. I don't know. But uh, yeah, hope it helps. Thanks for watching and catch you all again later.